Summer's upon us, which means so is the heat, so it's no surprise that at this time of the year, bars and pubs are getting even more crowded. I mean, what's better than an ice-cold beer on a hot day? Well, while bars are celebrating the growth, it can be overwhelming. So one Israeli startup has figured out a way to provide real-time data to the business owners through technology. All right, joining me now is Noam Mantel, senior PM of Weissberger, I hope I pronounced that correctly, to yep. talk to us about this creative app. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So what is Weissberger? <laughs> Weissberger connects to bars all over the world and also connects to the big breweries that supply the beer to them, right? So we hook up um, hardware into, into the lines of the beer, like you see here, um, and basically we transmit data to, um, to both the bar owner and the breweries so they can make smarter decisions about their business. Interesting. Now, how did you come up with the idea and also the name of this company? Right. So um, the idea, we have two amazing co-founders, Ori and Omer. Um, they came up with an idea in, the, in a similar field. They said, we're going to create you know, self-pouring tap. And they started with that, and they got some bars interested, and then they started noticing um, the data and, and knowledge gap that exists in the industry um, between breweries and bars. There's some, there was some sort of disconnect there. Um, and so they, they saw a larger vision that they could tackle, and so they went for it. Um, to answer your second question, um, the name is uh, it's named after Omer's uh, grandmother's last name. And so it kind of has a family connection, which is kind of like the business is run, it's very you know family oriented. Weisberger, Weisberger. Yeah, it's a great name. Definitely a little hard to pronounce, but I, I think I nailed it. Right. So tell us a little bit about how um, you know this software works. How does it help manufacturers and bar owners specifically? So once we connect to the beer lines themselves, and then also connect um, to the point of sale system, which is essentially the cash register, we're able to collect data such as, and this is specifically for breweries, um, they're interested in the quality that their beer is poured. So if you are a ma major brewery um, and you have 150,000 bars you know, in, in one region serving your beer, you have no way of, um, of making sure that they adhere to the quality standards that you set. Um, they used to, you know, set, send over um, people to test it, but they only got to maybe one or two percent of um, the bars worldwide. Uh, what we allow them to do is to look at it on a macro level and make sure that all the bars um, are serving their beer in the highest quality, just like you'd like to drink it when you go to the bar. Um, the uh, the bar themselves, right? So we get, we can tell them how much beer they're wasting because we compare how much they've sold to how much they've poured making sure that they don't lose inventory, which is typically about 15 to 20% loss um, worldwide. You know, talk about a retail store losing 15 to 20%. No, that's, that's absolutely crazy. Right, so this is one of the main points that we help. Another main point is um, we allow them to increase their revenue by saying, you know what, we've noticed a trend that burgers really sell well with this type of beer. Right, you should add this to your now. Portfolio. That's what's really cool because I mean that's also data that can be used to help consumers as well, not just bars. Right. But you know, if you're sitting there and you don't know what to order, but the right. you know the bar owner or the person who's serving you has an idea of what people normally pair and what works best. Right. And this is something that you know the we can we can provide the bars with the, with this information so they can you know add more combos to the menu like a burger. How many how many bars are using this technology now? We have thousands of bars all over the world. We're in 12 different markets. Um, we are hooked up to some of the biggest brewers in the world. Wow. Um, and so we're kind of ev everywhere from, you know, Asia to uh, South America to Europe obviously to North America. So we're kind of spread out. Now I guess the big question here is what is next for the company? Getting to every single bar in the world, that's the goal. That's it, just getting to every single bar. Exactly. And, and Israelis, I'm wondering how they're responding to this too. I mean, I'm assuming that this, te this technology was created here in Israel, Correct. right? So these were the first people that it was being tested on, which is pretty good because right. this hot country drinks a lot of beer. Yes. Um, but do Israeli vendors appreciate this maybe a little bit more than those abroad? Um, it's different. There are always cultural differences no matter what industry you're in and so it makes it very in interesting um, but it's you know it's the same kind of differences that we see between Asia and Australia for instance um, every market is very very different consumption trends are very different um, and and what people look at is is also very different well I'd love to take a look at some of the data that you guys have thank you so much for coming in Noam thank you for having me